Okay, hi guys, it's me again. Um, uh, this I'm still in the Biblical Gardens. I'm now standing uh, next to the rock garden. You can see the rock garden behind me. And uh, we've been working here recently on the rock garden, um, doing some weeding and that sort of thing. Um, we certainly need to get in here and do some leaf blowing. Obviously rock gardens don't like leaves, uh, especially autumn leaves fall and they cover the soil and you can see that now as you know alpines grow in in uh, high altitude places normally above the tree line and they don't get leaves dropping on them so they don't like leaves it's they're wet and they're yucky and horrible so we need to get the leaf blowers in here and blow all these leaves out uh, but I'm not here for the leaves I'm here for this tree behind me this is a flowering cherry I don't know what variety it is but it's a flowering cherry it's got some lovely autumn color on it at the moment and um, but it's that dead branch there can you see those dead branches that, that, that those dead leaves hanging in the branch that's a dead branch and if we follow it back we follow it back to this area here now I'll climb up on the bed a bit precarious I hope I don't fall over on camera uh, we follow it back to this area here and we can see that there's some uh, sort of, uh, what would you call this? Sort of uh, almost like where the bark has split open. And if we look carefully, I don't know if you can see that, uh, there's some goo, ooze, coming out of the split. Um, and lots of sort of open, broken bark, and there's some gooey ooze on this bit of bark here. Dead branches in a cherry tree. That sounds like a song, doesn't it? Dead branches in the cherry tree. Ooze. Oozing out of open, sort of cankerous wounds. That's a classic symptom of uh, cherry canker. Now this will be a bacterial canker. Um, so it's how, what would we call it? Cherry bacterial canker. Um, it's there's nothing we can do about it because it's a bacterial disease. Uh, so the tree is infected. The best we can do is to manage the tree um, and to prune out any dead branches. And we we'll, we can prolong the life of the tree. Um, but eventually, the tree will succumb to the disease, um, and the tree will just. Um, uh, disappear and die. Um, eventually all the branches will, will succumb to it. Um, it's um, I've got a tree at home, a cherry tree that's got bacterial canker um, so it's, uh, it's a likely candidate if I was ever to organize a pest and disease ident test. So just in case um, this is um, cherry bacterial canker okay perfect just look for the ooze bye